All right, Craig, this video is for you. I have your quad finished up here. Um, let's see, so the only problems I had was the flight controller was just too old. It was like one of those um, multi-rotomania. I actually remember using those back in the day, but that was years ago. So I got you a, a new one. This is an Omnibus F4 V3 flight controller. Your receiver was like way too old too it wasn't even s-bus so i got you an xm plus i flashed rssi on it um and that's right back here so the bind button for it is a little square copper thing right here i'm touching it right now right there so you want to hold that down you'll hear it click or feel it click while you're plugging in the battery now if you plug in the battery you'll see that you just get a flashing red LED on the receiver. You see it flashing right there? So it's just one LED that's red that's flashing. So when you hold down the bind button and plug in, you'll see two solid red LEDs. So you don't want to let go of the bind button until you see both the LEDs solid. I guess I'll just show you. So I'm gonna hold it down and plug in. I see one and now I see two. So basically you're just gonna hold the bind button down for like maybe three more seconds after you plug in the battery and then you'll see the other LED pop up and so now it has two solid reds instead of just one flashing slow. So that means it's ready to bind. Then you're going to take your radio and go into the menu, model setup, right here where it says mode, you want it on D16, and then go down to where it says bind, click bind, I do channel 9 through 16, telemetry on, and push enter to start binding. And when you do that, you'll see one of the LEDs on the receiver start flashing, while the other one stays solid, and that means it's binding. Wait a few seconds, then push enter on your radio again to stop the bind. Unplug the battery, plug the battery back in. And you'll see it's flashing slow like, like it normally would. Just one red LED flashing slow, and that's because my radio is too close to the quad. So I'm going to move the radio away from the quad. And, oops. <laughs> I just hit arm with something. So... You saw when I moved my radio away, the LED went from a slow flashing red to a solid green. Solid green means it's it's bound, and obviously it's bound because I just armed it on accident. So let me arm it again. So you can see it's good to go. All the motors are spinning the right way. Um, you got video, you got OSD as well, since I put the new flight controller on there, it has built-in OSD, so. Uh, and then your RSSI is on there as well, so. You got RSSI, OSD, all that stuff. So, yeah, it's totally good to go. Um, I'm going to get it boxed up and shipped out, and I'll send you over tracking when I have it. Uh, oh, your goggles, too. So here's your goggles. I did mount the receiver on top here. There's just so many wires. You're gonna have to like zip tie them up or something. Um, I would probably like zip tie them to the side of the strap here or something like that. Or maybe hot glue them. Hot glue to the side would work too. And then you need two batteries. One battery, which is one that you sent with the stuff right here. Now, this might be a problem because Let's see, this goes to, oh yeah, this goes to this. So this is for powering the receiver. But the receiver needs a minimum of, oh, it says 12 volts. Power supply, it says power supply 12 volts. So it needs 12 volts. This is a 2S battery, so it's 7 volts. So you're going to want to get a 3S. I think. 
I'm not 100% on that. Hold on a second, let me see. Here's the paper for, oh, it's seven to 12. Seven to 12, so this, when it starts getting low, it's gonna go below seven volts, so that's not gonna be good. So you definitely wanna get a 3S and have it fully charged. Uh, or else your screen will start flashing and then you need another battery with with a barrel connector like this that I use for my goggles and that's gonna plug into this one and that's for the screen so one for the screen one for the receiver and you see we got a power light on there but the battery's probably low we got a snow screen let me plug in the battery real quick Uh, so, so we got video. It's cutting out though because the battery's low. But yeah, there you go. Everything is all good to go. So, uh, yeah, that should do it. Hopefully, the uh, telling you how to bind it helps you. And if not, give me a shout and I'll help you out. All right, thanks.